Hi guys, it's Mino, welcome back. We're gonna do another fun wandering ring pour today. We just did uh, Andromeda and Cassiopeia the other day and it turned out so cool. And I kinda, I wanna do that again on a little bit bigger canvas. So this one is an 18 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. Very, very pretty. Uh, let's show you my colors and then we'll layer our cup. Pretty simple palette today. This one is Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue. Nice and thick, leaving a mound on a mound. Okay, this one is Golden's Iridescent Copper. My copper obsession. <laughs> it's such a beautiful color. Nice and thick. And this one is Artist Sloth Metallic White mixed with some DecoArt uh, Satin Enamels. This one is Warm White. Nice and thick. Hello, Gail. <laughs> I swear to God, there was no wind at all. And the second he said rolling, this gust of wind came through. <laughs> you want to paint? Okay. How about after we're done filming though, okay? Uh, this one is the DecoArt Americana Decor Matte Metallics. This is gold. Not the 24 karat gold. This is just the gold. Leaving a mound on a mound, but it's not as thick as I would like so it's probably gonna get lost <laughs> but we're probably gonna use that as our flow extender also last but not least I have my love my boy Golden's Payne's Gray deep dark delicious navy now somebody had said something the other day about when I done with one painting with Liquitex Basics and Artist Loft they were like oh I'm so happy you did this because those are the paints that I can afford you don't have to use Golden's you know, when I give you a color palette, you can use any brand of paint that you want in those colors if you want to. So it doesn't have to be Goldens. I like Goldens. I have Goldens. I'm going to use Goldens when I have it. But I do use other colors. So I use Deco Art all the time. I use Artist Loft all the time. I use Liquitex Basics all the time. Okay, so let's layer our cup. We're going to need about 15 ounces of paint for this. That's about to about the top of the line. My markings have actually been scrubbed off, but that's about to right there. Okay, this one, I want to start with a little bit of copper in the center. And I'm going to put a little bit of white next to that. And let's go in with the panes. Something is thin, I can tell already. Put some gold next to the panes. I'm going to go with some Liquitex Basics Blue, Thala Blue. I'm going to go back to the copper again. A little bit of Paines. Some more white. A little bit of gold. More Thala Blue. That's about 15. That's about 16 ounces there. I'm just going to put a little bit of white on top. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to pour a little puddle of white in the middle. And I see something in my white. A chunk of something. Paint. Okay, so I'm just going to tilt this around a little bit to spread it out. Okay. Alright, so now we have a nice pillow for our paint to slide around on. Let's do our ring pour.
let that develop for a minute. Now, see the gold? It's not really leaving a very big mound. So I'm just going to pour this around this and use this as our flow extender. I'm not really going to thin it out. And actually, I don't want that blob of white there. So we're going to go over that with the bowl too. Put some on our corners. So using the gold as your base coat and as your flow extender, it's actually pretty cool because what happens is, is as your paint rolls over that, if your paint is going to sell, you're going to get gold cells coming up. So let's spread this out, making sure that we have a nice volume of paint on the corners so that your paint can slide and easy and is not going to grab. That's pretty cool. All right. That should be fine. Let's torch this. All right, here we go. See, this is the function of the flow extender. If you look right there, what got tilted off? The gold and the bug. That's my thing. <laughs> okay, we're going to come down towards that corner. Something is thin. Pains in there. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. Okay, so this color that we're getting here is because of the Payne's Gray mixing with the gold. And I'm not sure I like that very much. But there are a lot of really cool cells happening in here. I'm also not sure if I like this. No, I think I want to pour it again. Okay, so we're going to do... I'm going to just pour what's left in the cup out for a second. All right. Starting over. <laughs> there is a little bit of copper in there. I'm going to put a little bit more copper in there. The paint's white in. And since I already have paint on the canvas, I don't actually need 15 or 16 ounces anymore. I could probably get away with 12 ounces just fine. Okay. Let's go with that. So we're going to start over here. See all these cool little gold cells that are popping up, that's from the gold underneath. Okay, here we go. Yeah? Just touch the canvas with the cup, but it's not gonna matter. So not gonna matter. Okay, let's stretch this out before we torch it. Whoop. Slippery. <laughs> Here we go. Take 
this side down. I think that gold was really thin and that's what made everything kind of wishy-washy. So I used less of it this time. Center. Go down off that corner. See, it's pushing that first layer of paint right off. I do like that better. Okay. So, I think we need to fix that top edge a little bit. Maybe bring it back down towards the center a bit. Okay. That's cool. All right. <laughs> cool. So, this one is much better. I, I didn't use as much of the gold, so it's the mix wasn't as, the whole cup wasn't as thin. And the uh, colors are keeping their color better. They're not blending. And I kept the gold away from the Payne's Gray so that we didn't get that weird, interesting green color that I love so much. So. <laughs> this is pretty cool though. I think I wanna take some of this, I don't know. What do you think, should we take some of this off or leave it? That corner. I would say so, but I'm afraid you're gonna make all those cool things all wavy. Mm, probably not. Let's see. Fearless. Go big or go home, right? It's just paint. <laughs> this that and I just dripped on it so now we have to take some more of it off it's okay because I wasn't crazy about that anyway for some reason it was weird the gold and the copper were on top of each other this looks strange see up here in the corner it's still got some of that on there but that's okay okay I like that. I like that better. Kind of tribal. It's <laughs> very cool. Okay. All right. So that's neat. Uh, if you guys haven't tried a, a wandering ring pour, give it a try because it's a lot of fun. And when you stretch them out, you get these beautiful lines that you can open up and stretch. And, and then you see all these really cool things inside. I really love that part where the Payne's gray in the middle meets the copper and then you see the phthalo blue where it's mixing with the white and turned into that lighter blue. Very cool. This part over here on this corner is really pretty. I got it'll drip if I touch it, so I'm not gonna go over it. Alright, that's pretty neat. Um, I'm not going to torch it because it's already got a lot of cells and the wind is blowing. 
so she's gonna pop any bubbles I don't really want more cells than this coming up so I will show you guys when it's dry thanks for hanging out with me okay so this is a few days later you guys I love how this one turned out this is so cool and it totally totally reminds me of space and I don't know if you guys were watching but the, the SpaceX and NASA collaboration where they sent the Dragon Endeavor to the International Space Station with the first manned flight to the ISS that's so awesome and so exciting and so cool I totally see you know something large hurtling through space through the cosmos so I'm going to be calling this one Dragon's Endeavor and uh, huge congratulations to the crew of the Endeavor flying the Dragon and everybody at NASA and SpaceX you guys are this is so awesome I'm so excited about space traveling again very very cool stuff so anyway now to the painting <laughs> this one turned out really cool this was another one of the uh, wandering ring pours and you see all those beautiful lines spread out and opened up in here and the lovely copper my favorite copper obsession the Payne's gray so this was metallic white mixed with my satin enamels. Very cool. And it did lighten the phthalo blue in some places to give us that like kind of baby blue, powder blue. But it's very pretty. Interesting, the white doesn't bother me on this one. Usually a lot of white will bug me, but this one it looks pretty cool. I love all these lines down here at the corner. This is so neat. Really, really fun. A little bit more copper up there. Beautiful depth. Good movement, good composition. So, very excited about this one. I just wanted to show you guys this one too. This was one I didn't shoot when I poured it, but it turned out really, really cool. <laughs> so this one was a straight pour, and it was copper, and I think it had pink tourmaline in there, and a soft gold on artist loft black it was a straight pour and then i did some combing along the sides it made some really really cool lines and i tilted it a little bit after i combed it which was kind of cool so pretty trippy stuff but it's just this the center here with this copper <laughs> it's so cool right here i love it anyways I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse. This one is a 24 by 30 copper straight pour with combs. Anyways, <laughs> take care. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.